hello friends welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will learn about translation so as you know that in the business central we have uh, we have already so many processes available which are called standard processes in the business central and if i show you here so we have uh, these standard process available and uh, currently the language which you are seeing here is an English language because uh, I have selected that language only in my settings but in case if I change this language to any other language like French German then these standard processes uh, will change uh, its caption and all the menus available in those processes according to that according to that language right so this means that because the business central is a software which use uh, which comes in use worldwide so if you are making any custom process for your clients then it becomes your responsibility only to to uh, make it compatible with other languages as well so that anyone in the world can use your custom process right so in this video we will learn that how whatever custom process you develop we can translate it to other languages as well so that uh, in the world you can deploy your app at uh, in any country in any city where um, uh, different languages are there uh, rather than English so let's start with that so here as you can see uh, I have just made a very small project where uh, I have these I have this one table which has uh, three fields number name and remarks and I've already added the captions of it then I have added one list page here it also the same uh, fields are there along with the tooltip then I have the card page with me and it also has these uh, three fields along with that it has one action okay action is just nothing but uh, I have just added one label like welcome to the world of translations hello world and like that stuff so let's consider it that this is your project this is your custom process which you want to uh, deploy it on the app source so that uh, anyone in the world can use it but to deploy it or to deploy this solution on the app source you must translate it to uh, all the available localizations of the business central so uh, for example let's say uh, you have two clients uh, or any number of clients if uh, if you want to translate it to that so the very first step is that uh, you just go to this extensions part and uh, try to download one this uh, extension called cliff sync okay so once you download and installed it then go to your app.json and here you have to add one property called features okay and in the features you have to uh, select this option called translation file okay so when you select this now every time you uh, compile your project or you build your project by pressing Control shift b you will see that system will add one new fold folder automatically with the name translations and it has one cliff file available readily for you and as you can see its source language is enus and target languages is enus because it's a english language extension which you are developing for your client and it has everything uh, every caption every label which you have used in your uh, files it automatically uh, creates one file uh, with that uh, with the same captions but this is what exactly not you are looking for right if in case you want to uh, create uh, your extension for multiple languages then you have to create cliff files for your multiple languages as well so for example uh, right now this file is automatically created by the a language extension but uh, in case you want to create multiple extensions or multiple cliff files then 
uh, this extension will help you so let's see how we can use this extension so now press ctrl shift t and type like this so here you have these functions available like create new target files this means that you already have a source file with you which is uh, belongs to us language english language and now if you want to uh, create multiple languages then you have to click on this function and when you click on it it asks for your workspace select this and now you have all the languages available okay so based on uh, your requirement you can always create uh, you can always select any particular language and system will uh, help you to uh, in creating those files in case uh, you want multiple so you just select this select multiple and from here you can uh, just select like this for example i want to create uh, one translation for a cliff file for french language and one is for spanish okay so let me select this and click on okay as soon as you click okay system uh, or this extension creates two more cliff files right like this one is for french one is for spanish and but if you look at this uh, your source language is us your target language is spanish here your source language is us and your target language is french so what this means that uh, my source is always in the english right but now i have i have to add one more uh, thread against each source of mine and so that i could change uh, or i could translate my english caption to my uh, required language my target language so that's why uh, automatically system or this cliff extension picks this file and create target thread against each source but the problem is that it's still not translated it just added this target thread against each of your source and that's why you can see that it the caption here is needs translation needs translation and like that so one option is that uh, you go to the google uh, go to the google translate and start translating uh, each text one by one and copy that translation caption here you just have to copy the translation text here and no need to add the this complete note in your xml file so in this way you have to do it one by one one by one one by one and that's how you can uh, update your uh, cliff files for multiple languages although it's a manual thing it's a it's a tedious thing so i believe it's uh, it's uh, not as easy but this is also one of the option which you can uh, use for the translations now i would like to talk one more point here that for example as we have seen uh, that uh, uh, once uh, we compile or build our project this file of based on english language automatically created by the system but in case after building your project after building your extension you feel that i missed something and let's say you want to add something more uh, here let me add one more point called message and let's set go like this stuff right now if i now compile again so when you compile and build your project again your this particular file your standard file will have that caption so if you search it let's set what happened it's not showing here let me do something again go to the card page let me delete this i'm getting some bit of error let me reload this
reload windows and let me download the symbols it's working so I believe we should not get any sort of error here and yes now if I type message let's set go okay so let me add this also as a label and new label one now if I build this project again package could not be created okay fine now it will let me create a build uh, let me build this project and now if you see this standard file it will have that caption let set go right but rest of the files which you have already translated let's say it does not have that like let set right it's not showing here so in order to sync your uh, multiple languages cliff files with your standard cliff file because this file will always be in an updated mode as soon as you build your project but uh, rest of the files are not so you if you want to sync your rest of the files also then you again use your extension of cliff sync and select this synchronize translation units so when you click it it will sync all the cliff files of the different languages with your standard cliff file so now if you search here let's set go it's showing but of course uh, you need to uh, use some translation service who can uh, translate everything for you uh, let's see this point right so now in this way we can uh, use this cliff sync uh, extension and translate our files but wait this all is a manual thing but we should look out something an auto option where we just pass this one and it will uh, translate to our uh, required uh, languages so let's delete this and let's read this again and uh, when you go to the google you will find uh, so many open source translation tools available which you can use and uh, translate your cliff files automatically okay so like one of the tools are which i'm using is the smartcat.com uh, here uh, you can create your account and then you can just uh, start translating your cliff files so for example i have already uh, translated two of the files but uh, it's super easy to do the translations so let's say if I click on the if you have already opened this website and create your account then you will see one button here called translate so when you click on it okay here uh, you have to mention that what is your source language and what is your target language for example uh, you want to translate it for Spanish and French so let's select it Spanish first and you have to you have to provide your standard cliff file which was generated by your uh, vs code okay this is an e english page so just select this and click on translate files it will uh, give you the translation of your spanish language and in the same way second time uh, you select the french option and then it will translate uh, your English cliff files to the French page so I have already done that so I will not use the translate file again but what I can do is I go to my download section and these are the files which I can now copy to my project so let's go to the project and under the translations let me paste this so now if you look back to your translations now you're having es and the fr right so this is 
your Spanish translation of your extension and this is your French translation of your extension. It has everything, right? So uh, now let me delete one of my message. Of course, like every time when you uh, when you add or when you make some modification in an extension, then you have to uh, again translate your uh, files, right? Because uh, then only you can uh, able to translate every caption or every field which is there in your standard VS Code project or standard AL project. Okay, so we have already seen that how we can uh, make or how, how can we make the different translation files manually or automatically and also we have seen that how we can synchronize our uh, different languages translation files uh, with my standard translation file okay so uh, what i can do is let's uh, build this project and let's deploy this project so press ctrl f5 and Let's see the real magic of the translations in the business center. So come on business center, let's deploy fast so that we can see the results. Yes. Okay, it's open up so first of all let's search for our process it is called translation test list page and this is the list page currently it's showing everything in English click on new type like this okay and if you click on actions hello world welcome to the world of translations so this is in English right now let's change your language to French so under the language let's change it to French and now uh, when it will open up you will find uh, the captions uh, will be translated to like this Translation text uh, will be like this and like that and if we change it to Spanish, then it will be like this So we will see the results So now uh, we are in the We have already opened up. So as you can see French language have already started working. So let's search for our process translation test and Here it is you can see the caption already translated so click on it and wow the name becomes uh, the number becomes numero the name becomes norm the remarks become remarkous let's open this and if you click on actions the hello world become bonjour le monde click on it and that's it I think it's not translated because uh, there is something happen otherwise it, this message should also be translated right there is some problem in your uh, in this translation so we have to check it further but as you can see the rest of the things are already uh, translated if you look at this point this is also completely translated so let's check it for spanish as well uh, if i change to spanish Is there yeah so let's select this one click on ok click on ok and once it will open up we will see the results okay click on search and now type translation test 
okay it did not change here it's changed this action is changed let me go to translations i think there is some problem with the spanish part so we can try again if you want like uh, for example let me uh, let me delete this one and let's go with the french again what i'll do is open the smart cat again and uh, this time i select french again and uh, let me build my project again success now select your file this is the standard one okay let me delete it first because the records are already there click on browse again select this it's already there click on translate files it is translating okay great so let's download this it's downloaded let's put this updated file here okay and now if you look at your project it has everything let me update this okay and uh, welcome to the world of translation it has this translation as well now let's deploy this project I hope this time uh, the translation will be fine okay because last time this message was not working as well okay close this And now I'll change my language from Spanish to French. Spanish. Okay. And I hope this time it will work. For the message also. okay now let me type translation yeah this is the link and if i click on new type like this and now click on this and here it is the message also gets translated right in the same manner you can create it for multiple other languages as well so this is how uh, we can use the uh, translations and uh, translate our files automatically or manually based on uh, your requirement. And uh, guys, uh, this SmartCat is also one of the tool which I found it on Google. Uh, like SmartCat, you have AppLanga and you have other tools as well, which you can find and you can create an account. And But yes, of course, if uh, you are working for your organization, then I really prefer that you should uh, subscribe to their plans and then only uh, do the translations because in the production environment, you cannot rely on the free free buys, right? So go for the subscription plan and then only use the translation services which are available online. Okay, so with that note, uh, I just want to close the today's session and if you like it, please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel.
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो